need to do it more often. So rather than, you know, needing to do things and wanting to do things, but I really should stream, why don't we just do the things that I want to do that I need to do while streaming? Hey, Spooky. How you doing? But um, let me go ahead and put a mark down. There it is. And then uh, music making. And is there one for music? Sure. All right, let's boot up Fruity Loops. Uh, we don't really need to tweet that. I'll I'll just add the Discord. At uh, everyone. All right, so. Uh, what kind of music are you going to make? I, I need to make more like lo-fi stuff for uh, Arcade, which means that I need to, you know, make it. So how about 80 as the BPM? Somewhere around that region is where I need to be. Uh, and then we'll boot up Flex and where is it? I guess I could just use these. All right. Um, coffee time piano is a good default piano sound. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to be boring and do a two, five, one. Um, I bought fruity loops. Yes. Uh, so that way I could make the new, new intro thing. Um, I could have gotten around it, but, and then I bought the, um, you don't need this VST, but, uh, there's an upgrade to flex that gives you the, the lo-fi stuff, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, so I went ahead and got it, but yeah. All right. So, uh, two, five, one with a minor key, uh, what do you guys think as far as like what? key like i might randomly decide image line is a good company they have life yeah i mean that's why i went with them rather than other ones uh roll the one so i guess it's a c what's a key so we'll do uh c as a two five one uh but c minor instead i think So the two would be, um, F minor to make it super jazzy. We're going to make it F minor seven. Uh, so C F is about here. There it is. All right. So C F, um, five is G minor. On an A minor or a C minor thing. So minor seventh. This is like, we're going to just work out some of the. Uh... The basic building blocks. G, F, G. So it's going to be there because there's a G sharp. I mean, an F sharp or a. Yeah. Uh, what instruments can I play? I can play uh, guitar pretty much. Uh, and we can do that a little bit, but I, I don't really know if I like the vibe of lo-fi with the guitar. Uh, we'll, we'll add it if I need to. And then one, of course, in an A or a C minor would be, you know, C, C minor, as one would expect. So uh, simple 2-5-1 chord progression. And that's a good sound. That's a good audio, uh, like font thing. I don't know what to call that instrument. Um, let's, I'm going to bring it down an octave. So how about, uh, F4, where is F4? Uh, 
There it is. Okay, cool. Um, and we're gonna... Still trying to figure out all the controls in this damn thing, because I don't know what I'm doing, really. There we go. All right, so, I mean, that, that sounds like a thing. Um, let's maybe add where it doesn't just shift immediately. The stamp thing is nice, but we can just follow along with it. And we're going to do like a half measure, I guess. All right, sure. I think like a G Meow Synth plugin, never heard of it. Let's do um, minor uh, minor pentatonic is fine for for G, because we need to like actually go somewhere with that. Because I think this is good. Do, do, do. Like, and I like actually the spacing. I didn't do that on purpose, but it sounded good. So I'm just going to keep going with it. We can have it go down to A sharp four since that's in the C uh, minor chord. And that would sound okay. So we don't actually have to play that. I'm just going to move this over here. Because that's just to let me know where the notes are because i don't know my scales well enough on the piano i apologize i'm not I i'm faking music i mean that's all right the only scale you need to know is uh c major not Really? This is a C minor. If it sounds good, who cares? I mean, honestly, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to do minor pentatonic again. But we're going to do something with the C here, because it it feels like something should happen there. And also, I want this, this, this pattern to probably go out to the three here. And I don't know what that is on the piano roll. Oh, there it is. So there we go. So we want it to go to there at least. Uh, we could do just a, a second one of these. And let's cut it down to there, there, there. And then it kind of mimics what we did before. Because it's going to loop back to this F, so... Because that's just the progression here. Almost. That's almost good. But this is something. This is, let me try it with the, the selection going. So that way it just plays this... Is that a thing I can do? Yeah. Let's start from the three and just... Okay, I think it's because there's a gap right there, and I didn't even notice it until just now. Um,
I think that's all right. Yeah, that's all right for a, a basic melody. Um, uh, as for a beat, uh, all right. So this is going to be, we're going to rename this. Uh, and, and the nice thing about lo-fi is it doesn't actually have to be that interesting of a song. Um, we could probably just bang out pattern one for the whole thing. So, uh, chorus, question mark, uh, let's add in a beat. And that's going to require us to probably actually find some like decent. sounds for stuff so let's just like use the kicks that we've got here and just come up with the the just a standard like jazzy kind of thing I, I don't know how to explain what i'm talking about here mainly because i don't really know what i'm doing and i'm trying to see how long it takes for people to notice that i don't know what the hell i'm doing um, and so far I'm 35 years old and most people have not figured it out that I don't know what I'm doing at all ever, but, uh, it's not even really a fake it till you make it thing. It's just like, I'm just not aware of what I'm doing. Um, delete. Can I move this up? I guess not. That's fine. I kind of wanted the snare to be above rather than below, but that's, this is fine. Um, just play the pattern. Can it be a little bit longer? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't know how long I need to make it, but let's make it at least a few measures long. Let's maybe uh, start replacing some of these. So first off, that's just, I don't like this beat. Yeah, it's a little too on beat. And that's kind of the problem is I should probably get a... Uh... I should probably get, what are those called? The things where you can, uh, the pianos rather than quantizing. But that's gonna cost money, and that's gonna be a, a very much like a, a later I'll buy one thing. Yeah, I think this is okay to have like a. That bass also might be too heavy. 
Drum pads are a lot of hassle. There's a swing thing, yeah. What software is this? This is uh, Fruity Loops. It's... Uh, if you get, like, the medium version, the, the, the cheapest version sucks. Don't buy that. But if you get the version up from that and then just go in and get your own VSTs, you're probably better off than... Fruity Loops is really good at making, like, um, artificial-sounding stuff. Why does the cheapest version suck? It's missing a lot of, like, very basic features that you would expect. However, you use Rhythmic. You're just throwing stuff out there that I've never even heard of, man. I have no idea what that is. This beat. This is a decent beat. I'm, by the way, I'm stealing these beats from like, you know, oh, hey, if you do this, is a good beat. So, like, that's why it's like I'm putting it in real randomly and slowly. <sighs> yeah, this is that. There should be one there. Nope. Yeah, I think we're going to just be fine with the repeating. Basically a half speed drum in space. I mean, yeah, let's just You can turn into drum and bass real fast. And this is the swing, right? the gap I do think I'll switch out these um these sound effects because they're kind of Sixty, but it just doesn't. I don't know if I like it at double speed, but you could. You could play this at double speed and it'd be fine. Now we're going to Eurobeat territory. It's just gonna be more backing tracks so I can do like painting videos and stuff. I think maybe a little bit faster would be nice. No, maybe 85?
can do better than Fruity Loops? I like Fruity Loops, man. Fruity Loops is a solid program. Um, background hiss. This is one of my favorite things about this VST. Is that there are just like sound effects. So we're gonna, um, Where do you want me to be playing this? C5? Okay, got it. a song for arcade be I think if it's like two and a half three minutes that'd be good Can we zoom out? Let's do until here. Sure. Arbitrarily, this is where the song ends. We can we can extend it out later if we need to. And so that means that the background hiss sound effect, wherever you're at. Um, oh, there's a sad boy out there. So it needs to go out to 53. All right. We can cut it in and out as needed. like five second loop yeah but we're gonna like make it more interesting than that um you, you start with the basics and then you start pushing out from there uh right now i'm just trying to figure out like what kind of like thing in the back is gonna be the the sound what does this do rain five Like rain five. Really wish I had. There's a way to make the keyboard act as a keyboard, right? is a music maker on 3ds and steam okay so i think 
myself and everyone here has noticed that this beat is, or this this chorus thing is like way too short um in addition i kind of want to like uh, pad it out a bit with a pad uh and the pad i want to use is not really a pad it's like blown glass bottle blow bowed glass oh crap i hit the wrong thing i need to make a new one uh i think i liked rain and thunder was the one and then i i turned this up a bit there we go okay so uh back to chorus piano roll c copy and then back to add a flex and then uh, and we're just gonna copy paste the same thing in nope not the right sound Okay. like dicey keys yeah i might want to put these pads on like a separate um um chorus uh pads and then whatever i'm gonna do for the pad we just Probably gonna need to turn that way the fuck down. <laughs> what the? What is that? I mean, that's all right. Do I like it as the main thing, though? No. I want... I mean, it kind of fills out the note a bit, but... There's one that we saw that was like in this region. I don't know what half of these sound like, so I'm just clicking random stuff. Right, it's only playing.
And I think I'm still like not super happy about the drums. I think it's like they need to chill a bit. That's not the right one. Where's uh no, I want a limiter is what I want. No, no, no. Place. Yeah, this guy. And then I think there is like Cuts out the, the, the highs. I think I like radio the most. Okay, so already we have something that's like okay, but like I think we need to lower the hi-hat instead of EQing it. Maybe that's the trick. Yeah, I think that's what I ended up doing there was essentially EQing it out of existence. Let's just like make the hi-hat chill. I kind of like how, like, muted the snare is, as well as not quite as snappy. That's nice. Also, this does not appear to be swing. I don't know what that button does. <sighs> You can still use the EQ, but just add in some more high end. Uh, screw the high end. I don't like high end. We don't do that here. Whoops. Uh, Control Z. There we go. There are like drums like in the lo fi kit, but. All right. So we could just like have the song be that and it sucks. Uh, let's add a verse in. So either we keep in the A minor um, 251, but we change it up like the thing or the verse is just a completely different thing, but still an A minor. Um, we could do something like... Uh, Five one. The boy is very sad. Um. Oh, I'm okay orthogonal, but thank you for sending me stuff. I, I kind of want to just do this like with without that. Um. Yeah, he's a sad boy. All right, so we got the background his thing, and that's fine. I don't feel like the song should start on the chorus, because that's weird as hell. Um, I also don't know if I'm in love with this sound for the, the main instrument. I might switch it. Um, I think there's a fairly decent, like, road in here. Wait, what is a dulcimer? Oh, 
Oh, goblin's kind of nice. Wait. Goblin? <laughs> okay. So probably not that. Reverse symbol, that's what that is. Okay. Um... I don't like how much attack there is on that. Just like... I'm gonna attack these keys so hard, just bang on them. I don't like that. It's too aggressive. Sound effects, kid. <laughs> okay. Uh... I like the warm pad. Oh, the train is a good sound. Oh no. Oh no, I like the train. No, actually, I'm not sure about that. I thought I did, but it turns out I don't. Okay, so n now we need to go back to the warm piano. We need to change this. I'm I'm kind of not against ghost guitar here. Let's hear it without the warm.
That kind of makes it feel like I've got like a hearing problem. When did I lose the goblin? I switched goblin out for warm. That's okay. I mean, I like that as the, uh, the base. Okay, we'll have to come back to that. That's fine. And then I want to add in the bass, um, chorus, bass, and we, we already know what we're doing. Um, you want to know how to do bass like a loser? Follow me. And you will learn everything you know need to know about how to put a bass into a song. Step one, write a fucking thing. Step two, copy paste it into here. Step three, wee! Pro probably like here is fine. Um, the wee is important. Okay. Uh, wait, did I just do that in the? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's that's not right at all. Wait, wait, am I on the chorus one or wait? Oh fuck. Yeah, I, okay, I'm on the bass. And uh huh. But then, which instrument is that? Okay, so I don't want that then. I want that here. And then we're going to go down to C3. And we're going to cut out a whole bunch of stuff. There was one that we really liked. It was something or other like Pluck, L Pluck, Lonely Pluck, Lucky Pluck. Okay. Just to see how it sounds. A 
Okay, back down. You got you might have to put your headphones on to be able to hear it, but it's it's really far back in the mix. Uh and that's fine, it's a bass. It's very subtle. I almost feel it more than I hear it. It's rumbly. It's nice. I, I don't really want the bass to be like super apparent. So like, yeah, it's just a little rumbly. All right. Um, <sighs> we are doing two, five, one. So doing five, one almost immediately afterwards feels weird. Uh, let, let's make a new thing. All right. Uh, verse, I guess. I don't think I spelled verse right. How do you spell verse? You know what? It doesn't matter. I don't need to know things. All right. So we were up at C3. Um, and we want, so it'd be, if we're doing, we could do like, uh, Six, then six minor. Oh, no. Right, because we made that thing. Okay, so C major. Even though this is a C minor progression, let's try C major seventh here. Whip, whip, whip. And then go into a C minor. That might be okay. C minor seventh. I kind of think I'm okay with even just something as simple as that. Those are some long notes. They are. They're like... They're arbitrarily long. They're like almost three measures. Two measures should be long enough. Wait, no, that's one to two. So that's one measure. Let's go one. Let's yeah, let's do two measures. Screw it. I think I could put some like pretty bits on top. Known known as melody on top of these chords. I kind of want it to repeat. I could go lower with it or I could keep the pattern. It feels like it wants to go lower. It's a six, so it doesn't really need to be resolved, but if it eventually resolves to like a five or a seven, then uh, we'll be happy campers, yeah? This is a bit of the breakdown here. I could make it go down maybe a couple notes lower. But there's not really anything lower than the C here. I guess you could loop around and go back to the... 
I haven't tried this. Um, but you could do like a a three C or no, not a three C. You would want something that's a high end, like the seven. What if I did the seven, but I did it as a C three on the seven, but instead of the seven, it's the um, I mean it's seven, so it'd be flat. B3 flat on one of these loops. So we're going to have it loop a few times like this. Um, GG, thank you for the raid. So this is, this is boring, but we can, I think if we put like uh, some melody over it, I think we'll be fine. And we'll cut out the drums for this bit, and then it'll come back. But I want to have um, verse ending. And that's going to be uh, right here on the piano. I think I actually want to... How's it stream, Gigi? Add a ninth chord for some spice? What if we, uh, what if we get sussy with it and we go sus four or something? Is Fruity Loops a good way of getting into making music or at least trying to with no real knowledge or experience with it, like conceptualize? Um, at the end of the day, so this is what's called a DAW. I forget what that stands for specifically. But, um, oh, like, uh, I was thinking about doing like the, the B flat 7 sus 4. Digital audio workbench. It's sort of like saying, is Photoshop a good program to learn how to do art in? Or is GIMP? Or is uh, Psy? Or something? Um, I, I guess. Depends on who you are, man. Maybe, maybe it's not your thing. Okay, so... This is going to be a, probably a little bit too spicy for me. It's a major, se, major ninth. We can't do major. Oh, fuck. Fruity Loops doesn't work really like any other DAW. Okay. So this is, this might sound out of key, but I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to change that. Okay. Honestly, you can make music without knowing music theory because I barely know what the hell I'm talking about, but I'm saying the words and people have a vague understanding of what I mean. Um, but simultaneously, there's a lot of people in chat that have no idea what the hell I'm on about. Some of these are going a little far. The boy. The boy is so sad. All right, major seventh. Because that's how you make things sound jazzy. You just make it a something or other seventh, either major or minor or whatever part of the chord progression you're in, and there you go. Okay. We could do the, uh... Oh, that's just gonna bug me if I don't fix it. I need to fix it here as well.
You can make an inversion on the three chord so it leads to the fourth. Well, you don't have a three. Press control Q to quantize. Uh, there we go. And then that just locks them. That's nice. That's a nice button. The third chord. Oh, okay. So the third chord would be the one. So make an inversion on the dude. I don't know. Oh, I'll, I'll, oh, you mean on this one? This one's the seven. I was thinking about what if instead of seven, we go five? Because five is not, or seven's not doing it for me. So what's the five? No, wait. Well, five leads to the one, right? Because we already have the five leading to the one. So this is the this would go to a G minor if we switch it. So let's try a G minor. I don't know how to do inversions. Um we'll do a minor ninth. Yeah, five leads to one, exactly. So um but we want it to go down. So it'd be G3. Oh boy, I don't know about that. This might be too low. It's time to feed the kitties. That sounds like way too low. Let's see if we go the other direction and we go to the G here. No. Drop those high notes down an octave. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's like, I mean, it, it goes, but it, it doesn't sound right to me. Oh, we didn't, we weren't doing B flat. We were just doing B. Wait, isn't B flat? It'd be. C, wait. Isn't B flat C? Because it'd be... No, it's the other way. A sharp. Right, right. Okay. Because the halfway point between A and B would be sharp going up or flat going down. And does that lead us okay into our original, like, thing? And then something's going on here, like that. Like, look at the pattern. Oh, right, because I shifted that one down, so everything else gets shifted up in the preview thing. I don't know if that works. I need to go feed the cats real quick. Give me like a minute to do that. All right, I'll be right back. I think the bass needs to come down some as well. All right, I'll be right back. Hear me.
20 and 24 notes are cut off so they don't play. Okay. Let's uh see what's going on there. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't play the uh the the pluck or the bass long enough. Just wanted to see if that annoyed you guys. If it did, then we're doing something wrong. But you guys stayed, so that means that the song's going in a good direction. Speaking of, how about we save this? Um, new, new, no, let's not call it new song. Um, how do you name things? Um, Kevin. Yeah, that's a good name. So these are supposed to be quantized, but they don't seem to be. Oh, what the hell? I see what you guys are talking about now. It just doesn't play that note. I think this one was stepping on the other one's toe a bit. Yeah, I think those it's like a sliding thing. They have the little triangles, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, verse. So I'm just going to copy these random, these notes. And I want to see where they are relative to anything else. This also, wait, 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 wait. Is the chorus all the way at C5? No, there's some C4 in there. Okay. Joltik, thank you for the year of support. That's really cool of you. Verse melody. I think the verse is on C4. So let's stamp. Uh, and it goes major minor. Let me be a basic bitch and just use pentatonic for all this.
How to tell someone's a metalhead. Whenever they need to like add a melody or solo, they just put a pentatonic in. Okay, this is gonna sound like dog dick. Just, I'm aware. This is every chord or every note in a scale. So it's just gonna just like bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh, well, not if it doesn't play the actual pattern. That's actually not as horrible as it could be, but we're still gonna get rid of some notes. Okay, so we can actually just, um, you know what I'm actually going to do? Um, yeah, whatever. Okay, now I got the ghost outlines. Why is your snap tool so small? Um, some people have small snap tools, man. Uh, snap to fourth step or something would be nice. How do I make that, uh, snap to the... The lines. Is that it? Oh yeah. Okay, better. No, I'm I'm totally fucking with you. I have no idea why. Okay. Also, um, we're going to move up to C5 instead. Does Fruity Loop have good tutorials? There's a lot of tutorials on the internet in general. I don't know as if this is the best program to work with. Um, I like it because when I was a kid, the biggest, best music that you could be listening to was like drum and bass and like uh, hard style and stuff like that, uh, e predecessors to EDM, um, just good jams, you know? Daft Punk was the big thing. So like me and my friends all had this. What about in the music? If you don't like the music that's out there, you better do something about it. It sounds a little too scale-ish. Um, still have Fruity Loops 11 for nostalgia. I was using a bootlegged version for the longest time. Throws the pentatonic scale in there. Only puts the notes from the pentatonic scale. Oh no, it sounds like a scale. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, sorry about that, Zwam. I've got a, uh, a a bot that'll kill you if you even try and and say things. You're you're totally fine. The bot is there to prevent people from, um, yeah. Okay, you're cool. No worries. Um, you know what? Let's actually just make this the entire length of this. And we can bring it back and cut it out as needed. Is there any bits of the original chorus that, I mean, like, is this the same song? It's nice. Um, there needs to be something that like allows you to have that transition between the two parts because it goes uh, two five one, so it's one to five, then like five sharp or five, but the five in this case is actually the major version rather than the minor version. Yeah, it needs a smoother transition between these two parts. It's got jazzy vibes. We just throw in the seventh chords, you know. You throw a seventh on a, a major or a minor chord and bam, you're doing jazz. Or to a nine. Or yeah, to a ninth. And I think that on the, the very end here, it goes to a ninth. Or it's, uh, uh, what is that? B flat ninth. I kind of have to cheat because my music theory is so weak that I have to use like the stamps. Like, that's the only way I'm going to know how to properly put together a chord on a piano. Because I, like, tell me to play, like, I don't know, a chord on a, a guitar or something. I can do that. But on a piano, I don't know where these notes are. Um, so... Hmm... And then there needs to be something here at the beginning as well, because it just starts. And that's wrong. You know, that doesn't sound right. Can I like... <sighs> Why don't I do like a... I, I could do like a little like uh, drum fill. And then we could do something with that. So like the drum beat we've got right now could drop out here. But what is that? So maybe we just like, you know, instead of doing drum fill, let's delete that. Then clone the beat. And then call this rename drum fill. And then we take this out here. And can we do like a do 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 do? What? So that's, I think that's no hats. Hey Ego, how you doing? Nope. Uh that's way too fast. I need to have like uh
No. You know what I'm trying to do here? I don't know how to... Rack attack? What, what is this you've sent me, Ego? The hat sounds weird. No, you're right. 100%. Um, I have a really hard time with drums. Try an 808 hat. I know there's an 808 kit uh, that's just default, but I don't know where it is. Where is it? Hi-hats? Ask Mike when he comes. Hat one is an 808. Like up in here? Or up in here? Oh, yeah, there they are. That could be okay. Okay, wrong hi-hat sound, but like, I think that's okay. Try a swelly swoosh if I've got a sand. Dude, I've got the basics, man. If it's not in here, it's not gonna be under your impulses. I might have to make one. I could make a swooshy. I bet you there's one in flex. I know what you're talking about. Let's see. Um, flex again. All right, we're just going to find like a thing that goes well. Not like that. You know what we could do is we could do just like a uh download all the VSTs from chat. What is this thing that you sent? What is God damn, what the f <sighs> Okay. I made Sanjay Fox. Is Nami just we fit? And Brooke is Marth? That's 3D cost. Those are amiibo costumes for the 3D game. I see. It's fine. I think the main one that's bad is is probably Nami and um, Luffy. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Kirby and Chopper is like, sure. And Marth, I guess, makes sense just because, but... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to send that to my wife. Um, 
Tro absolutely hate this. Uh, there we go. All right. Anyway, um, what if instead of a wow, uh, I did like a what's the first chord here? Or no, we probably don't want the first chord. We want the the last chord, and the last chord is this guy here. Ooh, control Z, control C, control C. There we go. Okay, cool, good. Uh, what if on this we go? And then isn't there an arpeggiate option? Because like we could just uh, or let's make them shorter Is this gonna suck? Probably. Let's give it a go. That's the only way you learn things. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, the nice thing is it's its own thing, so we can just delete it. All right. So anyway, let's try and find uh, a whoosh. Um. And we really only want it to go for like a measure, I think. Is Tuesday still on? Uh, depends on when we see Mike again. We could automate the uh the loud and we could automate a pan. No, 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 no. Uh, whoosh. <laughs> whoosh. 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 <laughs> no. Uh, let's maybe just get rid of that entirely. That's not going to work. Wait, what? Whoosh. I don't know if anything in this one is going to work. I think they might be all too, like... Is that the vine, like, boom? There is a lo-fi pack for, uh... Yeah, it's one of the official ones. Oh, God.
it is a paid one but i bought it because i'm like i'm gonna be writing a whole bunch of lo-fi i like the sounds it's got it seems good to me the growl is too much um i think i need to use a different instrument entirely is there one for like uh oh toxic biohazard still here How do you get to the point where, like, like, I know the sounds I want, but I don't know how to get to them. I don't know, man. I barely know what I'm doing, man. Toxic Biohazard very much. Oh, this is the trial version. Okay, that's why I... I was like, I don't remember buying that, but if I've got it, I'll use it. Same with Harmless. Yeah, all right. Cyrus is included, and it's got a bunch of sounds. It has a few sounds. Um, let's try starting at the uh, this. I've never messed around with this, so I don't know what any of these are going to sound like. Some may be loud. Growl is probably loud. Just a heads up. This is not word. <laughs> I mean, that is a loon. Yeah, good job. Okay, so none of the FX really worked. Gandalf the White? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh... about that. I think I just need a better sounding drum fill. Yeah, that fill needs to suck less dick. I think that's the problem. Let's get rid of whoosh. I'm very much an amateur, and I, I will admit that. I think I like that hat more just because it's the same one that I've been using and it doesn't stand out as much like being awkwardly out of place. You know what I mean? Yeah, the drums sound a bit flaccid right now. I agree. And I think it may be the drums that I'm using. Let's go ahead and do a save before we start messing with it too much. Okay, so here's a question I got. So flex, chill. We got drums. 
somewhere in here. What does this sound like? You can mess with the stuff. You got all these fellas. I don't think any of these packs that come with Fruity Loops are bad. I think people are just... a little bit of depth to it and i think we need to add one more layer here so that way it keeps ramping up then we can drop it off a cliff and it's not going to be the weirdest thing ever that's happened um i i cannot really get the sounds that i want without like having something to start with and then mess with it from there Right, okay, so... Anyway, in here there's drums. There's like a uh, lo-fi kick. But these, you can't just have it be the kick you want. You can't just go like... Oh, I should probably do this on... Maybe we just clone? Yeah, that way we don't have to like get rid of it entirely and then we just replace the beat with this and then see how it do. All right, so I just want this pattern. So when you use this, and this is like, I don't know how to use Fruity Loops. Um, you can go into the piano roll and you can get, I don't know. I mean, I guess I could just copy the... Yeah, I guess that would be the way to do it. Ugh. Ugh, la, 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 la. Okay. I mean, that's not going to sound flaccid. What kind of bass are you? Oh, these are kicks. That might be okay down in F3 land. That sounds like I unplugged my headphones too fast. And that sounds like a bass note rather than a, a bass kick. Nope. <laughs> nope. 
Ja. Oh. Is that guy okay? Uh, it sounds more real. I don't know if I'm like vibing with it right now or not. Let's see if I can like put the rest of the ones in there. Uh, maybe I can find a better one in like drum kits. Okay, where did you put them and what do they sound like? Let's turn these guys off for a sec. No, okay, so that's like a drum or a bass. No. I mean, I think that's fine for a bass sound. Where was it, here? Okay. And then, um, yeah, let's just use this entirely. Where are the hi hats? I like that snare. That's a good snare. Okay, so then this snare is, I think, uh, well, we'll just, again, I'm gonna cheat rather than try and remember where I put the, the thing. And then we just want to bring that down to where we got that snare that we liked. Okay, this needs to be switched to whatever the hi-hat needs to be, but I'm still looking for the hi-hats in here. <laughs> I don't know where they put them. I mean, it might be right here. And that might be the... the... Is it just like all just going to be on one? Wait, is it just repeating, but just different? You can press, you can use a keyboard as a MIDI keyboard by enabling the keyboard icon next to the song BPM. This one? Blind recording, loop recording. Oh, thank you, you're a saint. So now we don't have to like... I showed you that in DMs. 
Oh, I thought that was like a file you were sending, and I'm like, I don't really want to load a file in, man. I mean, I love Gandalf the White, but it's completely out of place here. Uh, maybe we try the other drum kit. <laughs> Unfortunately, now all of the things are not on, like, whatever they were on. Does anyone tell him that the add the sound goodizer makes the song? How much of that is meme and how much of that is real? Sound goodizer, where are you at? Wait, do I have the song sound goodizer on this version? There it is. It's a multi-band compressor. I had no idea what that thing did. Orthogonal caster is a, a huge nerd about um synthesizers so like this is this is like i don't know this is like going to mcdonald's and buying a big mac and being like i is it's a good burger an orthogonal caster is like N -n -n but you can there's so many other burgers out there no 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 like mcdonald's is fine He's a bit of a connoisseur, so he knows better. But at the end of the day, what does it matter as long as it sounds good? We may not have a hi-hat in this kit. What if I... Just the pattern. That's much worse. That's so much worse. Maybe we don't use this for the drums. All right, um, let's delete that. Delete that. Turn these back on and then we just find a different drum kick. What the fuck is any of that supposed to be? Let's just try other things in there. Okay, is the snare actually bad? I think it's the kick and I think it's the hi-hat. Make a Pierre Bourne type beat. I have no idea what you're talking about. I like that hi-hat more. How 
how interested are you making music outside of the utilitarian aspect of I want something that I can copyright? I I just like the idea of being able to. I don't know. I, I I've wanted to make music for a long time, and I feel like music is honestly like the most um. What's the right word? Accessible art? Yeah, I feel like that, like, people have have their favorite bands, favorite songs. You could probably get someone to list their favorite, top three favorite bands or favorite songs, but it's harder to do that with, like, paintings. And if they say paint, if you ask someone for their top three paintings, it's going to be Van Gogh, it's going to be, you know, uh, Picasso, it's going to be uh, maybe Goya if they want to get real out there. But we're, we're talking like the real basics. Monet, sure. There's so many great ones. Right, but you could probably think of a few. If I force you, gun to your head, like name three songs you like, you could figure that out pretty fast. And you would come up with potentially different answers than everyone else's chat. Uh, yeah, this is 21. I think the snare sounds a little weird. Yeah, I think the synthesizer is a little weird here. This is a bit anemic as well, isn't it? Let's see what the whole song sounds like now with those replaced uh, drums. These sound very artificial. Yeah, as do these. These are more like electronic drum kits. Put all the drums on one thing and then add a sound goodizer. Sure. Let's see if it like the, the meme of just throw a sound goodizer on it is actually gonna work. I really need to buy gross beat. Uh, I just saw sound goodizer where they put it. Okay. What are these different features even like what? 
What do you do? We could even like compress the shit out of it and turn off the compression once we could automate that. Yeah, I think I should probably get out this here and then that way we've got like the beat bass coming in. And I think if we're going to do another round of it, then we could add you know, whatever again. I just simple and then this stops because we kind of got like halfway done writing it. Gustav, like he's he's got like fruity loops on lockdown. He's like, hey, check out this random thing you can do. It'll make it sound good. Uh, what if we have the so like. Yeah, why don't we just like, can we do an automation thing of just turning that on and off? Uh, create automation clip, yeah. And then just on. Mute to solo, what a weird way of doing it. Can I just like... So I did that backwards, but. Yeah. Um. Again, this drum fill is just not doing it for me, but I don't really know how to do drum fills. Maybe toms need to be added? Cause I like it like real, like washed out like that. Rides? Yeah, let's start right, right in there. Um, I think it was this set here that we liked the sounds of. Where's the ride in here? I mean, that'll wake you the fuck up.
I might have to look up drum fills just to find one. But anyway, we'll, I'll figure out the drum fill later. And let's just not worry about that. But just like, this is not the final drum fill for this. I think I'm going to have to like listen to a bunch of drum fills just to find one that sounds like it transitions between here. needs to be fixed. No word from Mike. Might go eat dinner um, here in a minute because he's just like not around. The The progression is fine, right? Like, this, but like, I, I think that the melody is weird. Let me try to do the cheaty thing again. Where you just add in a random instrument that you're not, you don't actually care about. Well, you replace it with something that I own, just in case if it goes, you don't own the instrument, so you can't open this. I remember an early version of uh, Fruity Loops doing that. All right, so we did C major into C minor, I think, was what that was. So instead of... Okay. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but what I'm doing here is if you make an instrument in the same uh, pattern, it'll show where those notes are regardless of whether or not you see... Oh, God. All right. Music theory question. No, no, no. Let's try minor. All right. And then by doing this, it just looks like a wall of sound, but then I replace that out and then we're good. Um, this needs to be so much longer. Um, Okay, so that's goes 13 bars. Is that real? I guess. Switching between two different scales will be weird. So lighter color notes in the background would be Okay, let's, um, I might want to remake the verse entirely.
Ba bum bum bum. Can I just go down like a uh like the same pattern but here instead, like a I need to know oh right, yeah, no. So the thing I sent you, sweetheart, is uh in some game, some One Piece game that's coming out, they're doing um, a thing if you have Amiibos from, I guess, Smash, you can uh, use them to wear those outfits. And that's, that's how you get them. So if you have Kirby, for example, you can have... Is that what this is or no? Can someone tell me what this is? Ego, you know what this is. This was a decade ago? On 3DS. Oh. Japan only. Oh. Well, now you've... This is what we're talking about, by the way. So, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Wii Fit Trainer, Yoshi, Luffy, or Mario, excuse me, uh, Kirby, Marth, Fox, Samus. 3D, yeah, but like, you know, I wanted it to be something that my wife could be like excited for that was coming out. See, my wife's broken hearted, literally in chat. Oh, I kind of like that. Because it shifted from that A sharp is off key. That would make sense on why it sounds bad. Uh... <laughs> nope. Uh, I want a longer version of that. I might just get rid of this beginning bit because I'm not sure if I'm I'm feeling it, man. Microtonal, man, dude, I'm not that good. Let's not try and do fancy things. I don't even know what that means. Is that going to be on key? Yeah, that, that'd be fine. Shorter on this. This is fine. It needs to be a little bit longer so it actually feels like it's longer. We can actually use, there's um things that detune on the fly, right? And I'm actually gonna just shift back it. I mean, I like this progression here. That thing? I think I like this more than No, 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 because what it goes somewhere different, but it doesn't know. It shouldn't be. 
this should sound just as good as the other bit but it okay is there anything from this first bit that we want to salvage before we just delete it is any of this good yeah the double notes a little nah i feel like that all sounds like i'm just like screwing around because i have no idea what i'm doing because i mean that's what i'm doing all right um That's because this is a different... Wait. Oh, right, because... It, it, yeah, yeah, That that's literally off-key. It needs to be down here. You like the first half? It was a nice introduction. I didn't really care for it. The first half was fine. Well, shit. Um, I don't remember what it was, and I don't think we can control Z back to where we were. Yeah, we really can't. Right click the back arrow. Right click the back arrow. Oh. What? Oh. Okay, yeah, now, now we can fix it. I think I need to eat. I think that's also screwing with me a bit. No, 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 no. It's got to be down here because that's this bit. Why does the scale have eight notes? I think they want to just get back to where you were at, or maybe it's got sharps. Isn't it supposed to be seven? I don't know. Fuck it. I'm kind of vibing with it now. Like, okay. I think it's time to save again. I don't have solar. See, that's what I was worried about. Replace it with, uh, yeah, that. Uh, you mute it. Thanks. Seven different notes, unless if you count the tonic note twice. I think we are. Um, no, wait, because we got C6 and C5, and C5 is colored in, so shouldn't... You know, I don't know. This is the... Uh, coffee house piano from the chill lo-fi or coffee time um can i with this increment go down one more time I could use the C6. Uh, I don't know how far apart hands are usually on a piano. I'm trying to like emulate what someone with 
They're going to play something with one hand, and they're going to play something else with the other hand. I want to emulate that to some degree. I could put it all the way up here. And then bring this guy down. I tried to be clever, but I can't. Um, what if we invert the pattern? Oh, that's basically where I'm at. It's so key. I'm trying to learn a little bit of theory just to cover some gaps, but... Can I do that without it sounding like bad? We can go here with it. Feels like it should go back up again. I mean, even when you know theory, you just screw around until something sounds good. That sounds right, man. There are rules when it comes to music. Once you know them, ignore them. That's how most theory about art or music or anything goes. It could also be the length of the notes is not varied in the second part. If that was a little bit faster, would I like it? The last note wants its first note back. Um, like make that longer or give a more gap? I don't know what the words you mean. And we're gonna have to be careful on this last measure. It's a different uh, chord and I'm gonna have to figure out what that was again. I think it was a fifth or a seventh, but I don't remember what. Does anyone know? <laughs> Does everybody remember what the hell I was doing like an hour ago? I mean, it, it, it feels like it has to resolve up to here, right? We're good to put this here. C or A, C is the root note. No, it's A sharp. Oh, cause it was B flat something. Right, 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 right. Okay, so hold up. I think it is B flat minor. No, it's B flat major. Which key is this, A minor? Um, But this, this part, Uh, 
this part right here is the the C major plus D sharp is on the major scale. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Only some of these are major. Some of them are not. This is going to sound like bad. Yep, it's real bad. Is this part of the rebrand? This is part of Arcade. Uh, people have been complaining for a couple years now that I don't have enough songs. And this would be good for painting videos. Try a... A plus A octave higher. Uh, maybe that's what I'm trying to do. We're not doing microtones. Calm down with your microtones. I mean, y yeah, you you could. Lower the velocity. Let's try like 80% power there. Oh. Oh no, it's actually good. I didn't think I could actually go that far off, like that high and it'd still be okay, but I kinda... Okay, well, I don't like this, but I can skip this over one. And I think this will be fine. No. Because there's another note coming in at that moment, and it's competing with the same space. Try the whole thing up an octave. Ooh, we're getting real spicy now. I, I, maybe we just like bring this up rather than, but then what is this doing? Uh, uh, try a fifth instead of an octave jump. Up an octave, go. All right, up an octave we go. I like this, the do 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 the little like a uh, pong situation for that bit. It's all been tensioned for eleven measures, right? So this is this is the the seventh. Yeah, that's the seventh. So now it's time to like resolve and we can go finally, you get some resolution and we can go back to the chorus after the seventh chord. So we need something that really resolves this melody line. Um, but it's gonna be in B flat minor, no B flat major. So again, we're gonna go back to the, the wheel thing. Here it is. Um, Stamp B flat major. What did we do? Bebop? Yeah, we did Bebop. All 
Okay, so then C goes down to B flat, which is the same as A sharp, and then we go up an octave, and then we can play there. All right. For the la for the seven on a um A minor chord progression, the seven would be a, a B flat major. Am I high? Someone's high. You're high. Good. Okay. Almost? Copy the whole octave thing lower on the second repeat. So this on the verse itself, you think? You're you're dropping this verse down an octave. I mean, cost me nothing to press control down, so. the melody. This melody you want me to drop. So this drops an octave on the second loop. Uh, okay, let's give it a go. Control down. This is where we were originally. But this is higher. Yeah, because it was too high. I think I can bring maybe this up an octave and see. I don't think we want to go in with like all of the effects when it comes back, but I think we could come in with the chorus and the beat in the very least. And you kind of miss the chorus, you know? <sighs> Again, that needs to be fixed, but...
Maybe we need to make a uh, a base version of the uh, the chords to really get them. So let's do a uh, verse base. Uh, ooh, what did I just do? Really hope I didn't change. I don't know what I clicked. Did I click something? Playlist delete clip. I don't know what I clicked, if anything. I think that's fine. Okay. Um, and then verse question mark base. And then we were using the yeah, get get over here. All right. And then let's just go boop boop. And we might want to just do well, I mean, it's hmm. normally I would just take the root note, but the root note of but C major and C minor are both C. So like. There's there's that going on. A is the relative minor. Or in, in, in A minor. So you want me to use like an A minor for? Or I guess like just shift this down to A instead. I don't quite understand how relatives uh, work. Am I just not hearing the notes or do they just not exist? Oh, they're way too low. That's the reason. Okay, can we go up an octave? Also, Mike messaged me, so it looks like we are doing stuff. Should we switch out Lucky Pluck with something else? I'm going to go ahead and just um, clone this. And then on the cloned version do that uh change to it's like b b flat major okay major seventh but b flat Why are you trying to, okay, so here's the reason I'm trying to play chords. It's the the progression currently for this bit is uh, what? Um, it's C and C minor. 
so normally what I would do to make the bass work is I would just play whatever the, the chorus is playing or whatever the chords are playing, but just the root note. But the root note for C and C minor is both C. So it's just going to be do, 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 do. I mean, I guess that's bass. Yeah. Just bang on that C for a minute. Just contextless Cs. Yeah, that's fine. And then... I mean, it just sounds like a brown note almost. You're saying you had a good guitar sound somewhere else? In flex. Dark Star Acoustic. Dark Star. Where is Dark Star? General Mitty? I don't have it installed, fair enough. There's a free one. What's it under? Uh, you should get the Mellotron plugin. I should get a Mellotron. Holy shit, yeah. Essential guitars. Essential pianos I should get because it's free. Uh, essential guitars. Let's get as well. And essential bass guitars. Why not? Okay, and then essential guitars, you say Dark Star Acoustic.
I think if we do that, we have to go real low with it. But what does this sound like? That's like the fakest guitar sound ever. Is this... Let's do at least the bass section here. Fretless bass mellow. Right, because the chords are still, uh, I, for the bass, I just copy pasted the, the chords onto it. So it's just trying to play like this brap of sound. Um, but I like the verses bass because we didn't do that to it. We took out the chords. For the chorus bass, we need to figure out what's going on there. And then I think we dropped the whole thing by like an octave. No, we probably have already done that here. I think that's fine. Yeah. Let's try and listen to the whole thing again. And again, we need to fix that, that drum fill, but. Uh, 
add the pads in. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, the, the the drum fill is bad, but anything else that you guys were like, man, not so much on that. You don't want to use the dry wet control in the mixer when using the sound good as I don't think I touched it. Did I touch the sound good I I think I switched from A to B. The chorus going to an odd number of measures is weird to you. We could make it three instead. No, that's still odd. What the hell? Uh, could make it four. Yeah, it could be four until it goes to the verse. Yeah, even numbers would be two, four, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I think Kevin sounds okay. I love the I love that little ding. So gentle. It's great. Yeah, okay. I'll save this real quick and then uh I'm gonna go kiss my wife real quick. Let's do the can I annoy chat with this loop thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna put this loop on for just the bit that we wrote. And then see if we lose any people. All right, I'll be right back.
back. I'm heating up a burrito real quick. Uh, why am I hearing the Oxcu arpeggio? I don't know. Uh, so we did lose some people. Let me know when you're ready. I mean, I'm ready when you are, Mike. this uh it's only what i mean this song is like a minute long at this point it's not long enough at this point uh yeah it's a minute 18 we need to we need to make it like an extra like minute speaking of i need to go put another minute on the i mean yeah we can loop the the regions a few more times yeah it's meant to be like background audio for me painting or whatever rather than you know dead air save kevin kevin is saved don't worry about that i'll be right back i'm gonna go uh flip my burrito and heat it up again Needs a guitar solo. Well, let's see. I mean, chat was saying that it would sound good as like a um, drum and bass track or something. So let's just, I mean, yeah, 320. Let's go. That's like um, running in the 90s level. If it's like 160 instead, is that like... Now it's, yeah, now this is like Undertale battle music or something. This is JRPG, RPG, yeah, battle music. slaps at that speed but it's a different vibe entirely um i mean very easy to to re-render it at 160 high ab okay my burrito's done i'll go get it i'll be right back I am back. I could sample Abby into the song. I think she would like that. She likes to sing. Dude, I need to hear like the... I think the measure every measure in the verse is slightly different bass resolution would add to momentum and avoid repetition. Boy, howdy, I have no idea what the fuck you just said. 
But it sounds right. A wild ref has appeared. Attack, defend, run. Undertale. It's very dancey. Uh, why don't I call Mike and eat a burrito? <laughs> These are unrelated things that I need to do. Hey. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. What's up? Nothing. I love that song. Thanks. I was just screwing around for a bit. I figured I should. Screwing around. I'm screwing around. Do you yeah, like the uh, the 320 nice. B <laughs> BPM version where it's like just Undertale battle music? I kind of think all of it sounds good. Like all versions sounded good. All of it, like it, it, it worked at all those tempos. It worked. It just depends what you I mean, it's supposed to be lo-fi, but if you just crank it up, it becomes dancey. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, cause you're you're uh, in, a, in a in a Undertale fight, in a boss battle. No, no, not boss battle. Like regular maybe, fight. Yeah, maybe like a regular fight. It doesn't really have the boss battle like triumph to it. So it's a regular battle, like mm -hmm. a regular random encounter. So what's going on? Uh, not much. I'm just eating a burrito. Um, uh, I figured, you know, I don't know with, with the, the rebrand stuff that I've been doing, I figured it would be nice to just, um, do some different stream stuff too. Mm, yeah. All right. So you're going to make some, uh, uh, you're going to make music. You're going to make, songs? yeah, I'll make music every now and then I'm going to paint every now and then. I don't okay. know. Chat seemed to like it well enough. All right. Well, you know what they're going to love? Uh, us doing a YouTube stream. Oh, yeah, especially with what I got in store. You got some good stuff? Oh, my God, you have no idea. I know you've been working at. on stuff. Can, can I make one request? I've not seen the Crypto Luigi ad. Do you want to see the Crypto Luigi ad? I just want to for cultural reference, I think. Are you Are you sure? Sure. Man, are you sure about this? I mean, I, I listen, I'll make it my fault. For saying yes at this point. We we could do that. Should I go live? Yeah, why don't I go and uh, stop being live? Thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, I'm going to go live on Mike's channel. I'll see you guys over there on Jabroni underscore Mike. Is it right? That's right, Rev. Jabroni underscore Mike. Sometimes I get... Uh... Oh, hey, Anon. Thank you for the seven gift subs. That's hey, right, Rev. Mike. How are you doing? I don't ask that because I'm an ass. Everybody asks how is Jabroni Mike, but nobody ever asks how is Jabroni Mike, right? Oh, I was going to, I thought you were going to go with why. <laughs> <laughs> why is Jabroni Mike, right? Yeah. Uh, D-Zone Mustard, why? thank you for the nine months of support. We're, we're going over there. Thank you guys for watching. Bull. You want to give me your webcam? Yes. Not the fancy new one, but the old one, because I can't get the fancy new one to work consistently. Rev, I have something in store for you that is going to rock your world. We'll have to check that out. 